Hey guys, I'm the Dragon's Beard and I'm back with another Raid Shadow Legends video and today I've got another exciting clan boss team to show you but uh, before we get into that I did want to just say a huge thank you to anybody who's helped uh, support the channel as I've been getting going. Uh, I'm only four videos in. Um, I really uh, am amazed with how many subscribers have, uh, have jumped on board from the ground floor so huge thank you. Uh, special shout out to my clan mates over at Working As Intended. Uh, a lot of you have helped shape where I'm going to go with the channel and uh, I wouldn't be able to be here without you guys. So, uh, speaking of clan mates, uh, I am in uh, Vrackle's account today, and uh, we've got a crazy comp to show you. So, uh, I put together the uh, Deacon Salad Eater on my account uh, not too long ago, uh, and uh, he didn't have a Turvold at the time when I was working on getting that going. Uh, but, during this last uh, Double Void, uh, he managed to pick, uh, pick up the big boy. So, uh, him and that Menacing Sword, and... Um, the, the thing that I'm amazed with here is that uh, he's got a lot better gear on his account than mine, so I'm going to be able to see Turvold smacking like, uh, like he never has before. Um, the only roadblock that we ran into is that he does not have Mashald. So uh, all the components that are needed for the Deacon Salad Eater, he's got Turvold, he's got Deacon somewhere in here, um, he's got the Double Man Eaters, but no Mashald. So um, we kind of had to improvise, and I spent a lot of time in the calculator, and I was working with uh, the, the guys over at the Deadwood Jedi Discord, and um, <laughs> we found a comp that had Seeker in place of Mishald, Um and it didn't really work with Turvold. Uh, when we were plugging it in, uh, Turvold goes last in the turn order, and his double turn would cause him to lose the unkillable buff. So uh, I kind of had to go, to go back to the drawing board and come up with a fresh new comp that was going to uh, prevent that problem. So uh, before we go through the champions, I'm going to show you the calculator real quick and show you what's going on here. Uh, it's very similar to the Batman Salad Eater or the Deacon Salad Eater uh, in that the Man Eaters are running super quick and they're doing five turns for every two turns the clan boss takes. Uh, and that's really what makes this possible because they're able to cycle around to their unkillable and stay in sync. So uh, let's hop over to the calculator here and I'll show you what we have going. All right, so uh, I'm over here in the calculator uh, at deadwoodjedi.info, and what we're looking at is uh, a team that uh, Sleepy Rhino and OptiLink and Face Melder were discussing back in June. Um, it's like a mixture of the Bat Eater and the Deacon Eater teams, and like any uh, clan boss tune, we have to come up with a silly name, so we're going to call it the Bacon Eater. Uh, so the idea here is that Deacons bring in decreased defense, um, and you've got Seeker boosting turn meter along with Deacon, uh, and um, you really just need to add a champion that has a Weaken in order to kind of com complete the necessary debuffs to, to make the, the team uh, one key. So uh, Bracus and Longbeard are kind of some of the standout options that um, would be usable here, but I have Turvold, and that's who I wanted to use. So naturally, come down here, uh, plug in Turvold, and you would hope that uh, he's just immediately going to fit into the tune, but with his uh, A2 boost in his speed, sometimes you get to play with delays a little bit. So what I found out is that a two-turn delay um, basically makes it work the same way that Brackus would. And that's where uh, we hit a big roadblock. So uh, Turvold here uh, with his double turn is going after Maneater, so he's going to get unkillable and block debuffs, and then as soon as he takes his double turn, he's immediately going to use it or lose it, and then clan boss is going to kill him. So uh, that happens all the way down, um, and uh, it's going to really be what prevented this exact team from working. So uh, I had to go back to the drawing board and um, find a team that moved Turvold's double turn ahead of Maneater, and uh, no combination of delays that I could come up with with these speeds would work. Uh, so I'm going to switch it to the speeds that I did find that work, and show you kind of what's different. All right, so I've got the speeds plugged in for the new team, uh, and a couple things changed. So Deacon went from 228 speed down to 221, Seeker went from 228 down to 203, uh, and then Turvold went from 220 down to 197. So everybody got slower except for the man eaters. So they were at 287, and now I've got them at 292. So these are very, very fast man eaters. They have to run at that 5 2 ratio, uh, and that's going to be the biggest hurdle to making this comp work. But what it does to the turn order is it makes it to where nobody has a double turn after Man Eater puts up the unkillable and the block debuffs. So here on turn one, uh, you've got that going up, and then 
single turns from each champ, and then the AoE. So everybody's protected there. No spirit debuffs, anything like that. And then the next turn, continuing to the end of the fight, Maneater is going to go dead last in the turn order. And uh, as soon as he puts up that A3, Clan Boss is going to take their turn. Uh, so Turvold starts the turn slow, and then gets his speed buff, and then jumps ahead of the Maneater, which is what makes this happen. And that's going to continue for uh, all 50 turns. So uh, this is going to let Turvold uh, survive and not have to have that uh, buff drop off. So uh, we're going to go back in the game. Uh, I'll show you the champions, and then we'll run a key, and you'll be able to see this team in action. All right, so before we run the key, let's look at the stats real quick. Uh, we've got Turvold, 6,300 attack, 200 speed, which is in that range. Um, he's going to give himself the missing 30% crit rate, so uh, capped out on crit rate. That's up all the time. And then uh, 280 crit damage, uh, enough accuracy in order to land the weekend. So he's going to go 2 to 1. Uh, shouldn't have any problem keeping that up uh, for nearly the entire fight. And then the main eaters, um, as I mentioned, super fast. Uh, he's got them running at 291. Uh, as close as we could get, get to crit capped with um, the, the speeds that are necessary uh, and then again not too much uh, room for stacking attack and crit damage when you have to go that fast uh, and not have to borrow from arena champs. So the second one, uh, a little bit less attack, closer on crit rate, a little bit higher crit damage, but both at 291 speed. It doesn't matter if they're a couple speed apart as long as they're between 291 and I think 311. Um, the speed ranges will be uh, in the description. So uh, we've got Seeker. Uh, let's see which one we're using here, not that one. Um, so uh, this Seeker is um, four and a half uh, thousand attack. He's got attack boots on, uh, which is uh, huge for pushing that up. Uh, 204 speed, that falls in the range. Uh, crit capped and 273 crit damage. Um, his accuracy doesn't matter. He, uh, it doesn't matter if he lands a provoke. Clan boss can't be provoked. Uh, so just ignore that and pack as much damage it damage in as you can. So then last is Deacon. Uh, so we've got Deacon in a toxic set. Deacon uh, does not do a huge amount of damage on his own. So since the raw damage is missing, we have to supplement that somewhere else. And since this is a poisonless comp, the toxic set is just how we're going to do that. Um, so 225 speed falls in that range. Uh, 3k attack. Uh, his base attack is low at 947. So you're not really going to get uh, tremendous numbers for his attack like you would on someone like Turvold, for example. Uh, he's also crit capped, uh, 180 crit damage, and then his accuracy is important because he's landing decreased defense, but then the other thing he's doing with his A1 is landing the leech. And with the leech, then that's going to be what empowers all the masteries to work right. Um, so you're going to want to have defense tree, uh, something like this on all of the champions. Uh, this is the important part uh, for the defense tree, uh, counterattacking. Uh, they will be healed from the leech, so... Um, as soon as the clan boss is hitting hard enough, then proccing this isn't going to be any uh, trouble at all for 25% max HP. Uh, and then uh, War Master across the board, this is pretty much cookie cutter for um, the unkillable comps. Uh, all of them are going to have something like that as far as the masteries. Um, that is uh, it. We are going to go in and uh, run a key. Okay, so we are up against Spirit right now, uh, which is perfect for this team because we've got neutral affinity from everybody except for Seeker, who is uh, strong hits. So uh, I've got the cheat sheet up over here since this is uh, on his account. This is not the team that I run, so I don't have the setup memorized. Uh, but uh, just like I showed you in the calculator, uh, A2s to open from uh, the main eaters. Um, Deacon does not need any delays, so he can kind of start uh, right away with... Um, the turn meter boost and then decrease defense and yep it landed as well as poison uh, seeker we're going to skip on the a2 uh, for two more turns so we're going to just do an a1 um, and then turvold uh, does not need a delay uh, he's just going to go uh, a2 a3 um, next turn is pretty easy um, the slow main eater uh, is the the one that's going to use unkillable um, and then for the rest of that turn, it's just A1s all around. And then we're pretty close to auto. This is auto on turn two. Uh, we just have to get the, the last delay sorted out uh, on the main eaters. So um, Deacon is going to cycle back around. That's super quick cooldown with his extra turn. Uh, he's going to be able to use the decreased defense uh, at the beginning of pretty much every turn. Um, so Turvold... A2, A3 again, and then 
this is the main eater that we need to hold unkillable for one more turn and at this point uh, it is going to be auto so uh, from here on out um, what should happen is that as soon as um, alternating man eater, man eaters put up unkillable then the clan boss is going to take his turn just like that uh, and um, now uh, that we're fully in sync from uh, from turn three, then you're going to see the damage per turn uh, go up uh, big time, um, and you know this could uh, eclipse a uh, two million damage per turn. So uh, I'm going to uh, let this run, and then we will come back uh, towards the end, and I'll show you uh, what kind of damage we're going to be looking at. All right, guys. So I'm back. We're here, coming up on the end. I already broke the hundred mil mark. Uh, this is probably going to be a, a record run for his team. I don't think he's ever hit higher than 106, and it looks like we're going to do that. Um, we actually hit one key range back on uh, turn 33, uh, so the damage per turn is absolutely insane. Turvold out here just throwing up 500k A3s like it's nothing, and uh, you know even a considerable amount of uh, poison from Deacon, so that's going to be his contribution. And we are coming in just about at the end. Looks like we're going to hit 108. Got to get one last A3 in there from Turvold so that he can uh, finish off for good measure. And, yeah, 109 even. Uh, a lot of things this is, a fast fight is not one of them. 21 minutes almost. Uh, a little slower in the beginning because of the setup. But look at Turvold here. 50 mil, the big guy just throwing up crazy numbers on his own. Uh, Deacon with that toxic set. Let me get out of the way. Uh, 14 mil from, uh, from him. Uh, main eaters, uh, you know, we looked at their stats and they didn't have that much attack or crit damage, but they're still putting up 12 mil because all those turns are giving Warmaster procs galore. And then Seeker coming in here um, doing over 20k, which is uh, nuts from somebody that is a defense champ that bases their uh, damage off of attack. So um, very, very nuts team, almost 110 mil. Uh, this can only get better with, uh, with gear and great haul progress, but... Uh, I wanted to uh, thank uh, Vrackle again for uh, giving me a chance to hop on here and record this because it ties up his account for a little bit. Uh, a little bit. But um, one other thing I wanted to point out to you, we're going to go back to the calculator real quick. Uh, the same exact team, same speeds, and same setup will work on Nightmare uh, as long as you add uh, two turns uh, delay onto Deacon's A3. And if you wanted to do that all the time, it actually works on both. So that might be the easier setup to memorize. Uh, so we're back in the calculator real quick. Uh, I did want to show you if we switch it to Nightmare, then the turn order gets all messed up. But then when we add a two-turn delay to Deacon's A3, uh, everything falls back into the exact same sync as what it did on Ultra Nightmare. And if you only want to have to memorize one setup, this is the one you would want to memorize because we can switch it back onto Ultra Nightmare and it looks exactly the same. Uh, so that would be what I would recommend doing uh, for consistency and just making it easy for you. All right, guys, that's it for the Bacon Eater with Turvold, which kind of sounds like something that belongs on Wendy's menu. Uh, if you like the team, please like and subscribe. I've got some more Turvold uh, content coming down the pipeline uh, that I think you're going to enjoy. And until then, I'm the Dragonspeard.